your sexual performance will decline. You will put yourself in a bad relationship. You can touch more people. You might have to push through that barrier a bit. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am blessed to be joined again today by Dr. Morgan Camp. Dr. Morgan Camp is an integrative practitioner, has been practicing for well more than 20 years. He's an absolute gift to the world in his ability to help support people through really complex conditions and diseases. So I think I might just hand it over to you, Dr. Camp, and we'll get we'll get into it. And the other hormone you mentioned before we jumped on the call that I also want to put in there because I think it's important is the oxy- oxytocin because it's not people just oh, think yeah. it's a breastfeeding one and no one talks about it, but it's it's our love connection, our social bonding hormone. And um, yeah, you know, you were talking before about its relationship to as we age and it goes down and depression and things like that. And of course, you know. The population that doesn't feel connected and in a community and you know we know that they die earlier and all of those sort of things so yep. tell me a bit more about oxytocin because again it's not one that anyone's talking about I don't know anyone that tests it yeah I don't I don't think that there's no t- there's no testing that I, I know is, no. but, um yeah, and I learned it from Dr. Hertog. I started prescribing it like 10, 15 years ago. Also, because I had a lot of patients who were in the sex, um, like sex tantra teachers and all of these sexual wellness coaches. And they would come to me and man, they tell you everything. And you know, <laughs> like, oh, you know, I got thumbs with this. And like, and Dr. Hertog's like, you know, oxytocin helps all these things. So I started prescribing a great, great result. So but in research for this topic today, I just like, oh, let me look up oxytocin and its association with senescence. And in so doing, I found there are quite a few studies showing the connection. The good thing about oxytocin is there are no side effects. from If you take too much, here are the side effects. One, if you take too much, your sexual, if as a man, your sexual performance will decline right. if you take too much. If you take too much chronically, and I've seen this before, it will lower your cortisol. So if you're very low cortisol already and you take too much of it too regularly, your cortisol will come down and you'll get stressed and anxious as a consequence. So you can still use it if you have a low cortisol, you just don't use as much nor as frequently. The other side effect of it is you have to be careful who you use it with. It will increase bonding. If you use it to increase bonding to someone you don't like, you will put yourself in a bad relationship. Good to know. Oxytocin is what you release when you're in love. Mm. So if you're stimulating that artificially, be careful of the person you're sitting in front of you, taking it with you. Very good tip there. (laughs) (laughs) now is there Uh, any other hormones that you wanted to cover i know oxytocin and um melatonin a little bit sideways but i wanted i wanted you to cover them because they're ones that people just aren't thinking about and everything that we've been especially melatonin of how important that is but oxytocin i think there's probably a lot of people with low oxytocin after coming through COVID and isolation but any other hormones that jump out that you feel like you want to cover all that we need to sort of yeah well to finish the oxytocin yeah most of you aren't gonna be able to get it clinically Mm. you can touch more people yeah physical touch touch more people if you're if you're a man and you want to arouse your your partner no if she likes to have her nipple stimulated that actually increases oxytocin production so that regularly will help actually more touch, getting some massage, massaging your partner. These all looking at your partner's eyes, creating more depth. Now it is a catch 22 that when you're withdrawn, you don't want to do these things. And when your oxytocin is higher, you do want to. So you might have to push through that barrier a bit. Yeah. So again, thank you for your time and sharing your wisdom. It's always amazing and greatly appreciated and just how you can put complex things together and bring it back and really looking at treating someone as a whole and and looking at all of this and putting this all together moving pieces with the human body is really amazing so thank you if you um 
want to get notified anytime we put up new videos, Dr. Camp and I are going to do definitely some more. Make sure you hit subscribe. If you want to know more about what we do, head to www.kidneycoach.com. You can also find us on Facebook, on Facebook forward slash kidneycoach. Thank you for being part of our community. We hope you found this useful and we hope now that a lot of you will go out and get your hormones tested every year. We highly recommend it. Until next time, thanks again. Thank you, Dr. Camp. Bye.